All right, gun blanket on the ground. Then one wool blanket over top of that. We stake two sturdy sticks about five feet apart, laying a ridge pole over top of that. Then we button our shelter hands together and stake the corners down and huzzah, home sweet home. What's he doing? Oh, Socrates just has to be different. <laughs> I put my gun blanket on the ground, put my shelter half on top of it, and I take my wool blanket, put that on top of both of them. Then I just get down in it, just roll up right in it. It's a lot quicker, and it doesn't let any of the cold night air in, like your tent. Don't worry about it. We'll spoon together and keep each other warm. Or you can do like they do. It's called a shebang. A few sticks and a little slanted roof, and it's home. That's different. Well, you do what works. Nobody troubles you to do it any particular way. What's that? Town ball. Some of these boys are so taken with it, they play it every chance they get. You ever heard of town ball? I think so. If it's the same thing, we call it base. Well, hit. Hey. Oh. What I can't figure is, we packed up this morning, marched more than a dozen miles, set up camp, cooked rations for three days. Yes. Where does he get the energy? <laughs> Company C is on picket now. Company D is on picket in four hours. Oh. Oh. You were right. Right about what? The ground. It feels like it's pushing up against my back. Oh, you feel it. It's soothing. It takes the load off of you. It's an illusion. Yeah, that's true. When you stand up on your legs in the morning, gravity will be right back where it was. Yes, sir. Feels good though, don't it? Unbelievable. Ha, ha, ha.